Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Um, okay, we actually have um, um, boxing kind of. It's not in a box. <laughs> um, I actually got this at Target uh, last week, and I actually got it for a really good deal. Now this line, I don't think I've ever messed with. Um, but the regular price, I believe, it said forty. Then it was marked down to twenty. And then underneath it had a uh, yellow tab that said 10. So for 10 bucks, I was like, okay, yeah, can't pass that up. Um, you may have seen it in somebody else's channel. Um, forget actually who did this. Yeah, I forget who, but it's Ryan's World Blaster. Um, it's the sniper one. Yeah, it's going to be goofy. Yeah, and it's going to be small. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but for $10, it's pretty sweet for what it comes with. It comes with this cool carrying case thing. Um, and then, you know, all the uh, combinations and stuff. I want to see if this is, this rail up here is a uh, nerf. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. And, uh... This was the only one that was on sale like this. And when I actually took it up to the front, the uh, it rang up as uh, $19.99. And I told the girl, well, you know, on the shelf, it wasn't just this one, it was this one and like two others behind it. And they were on the shelf, you know, in front of the tablet, it said $9.99. So I was like, you know, what do we do? So luckily she got the manager, and the manager uh, gave it to me for the $9.99 price. And then they probably took that down afterwards. So, uh, let's get this guy open. See what we got inside. This is actually harder than, than it actually should be. <laughs> Uh, I've never seen the Ryan's, I guess, was it a show or something? Never seen it, but I heard that they had dark blasters. Um, and for this one, being as the price it was, that's a steal. Alright, got the plastic off. Let me keep this paper sleeve thing off. Just take it off just like that, I guess. Okay. Is there a right side up to this thing? Can't really tell. We'll go this way. So, let's see, is that the right way? Mm, kind of. <laughs> I don't think there's a right or wrong way for this. Because that kind of stayed in there. And this did not. Let's try that again. Or maybe not. Maybe this way. There we go. Okay, so pretty cool little case, you know, ooh, dude, it felt, I like that. Now, if Dungeon did this kind of thing, or, or Adventure Force, or even Nerf, I think they get a lot of uh, good things out of it, production-wise. Um, I can already see these darts look like crap, uh, not performance ready, these targets, what are these? Yeah. So not real hyped about those. I'm just hyped about the blaster itself. So let's see here. So as the main piece, it's not a bad, it's not a bad grip. It's a little small, but you know. So it's a bolt prime. Actually, it, that's actually a pretty good prime. You don't feel it click though. 
which is kind of off-putting, but there is a big plunger tube in there. I can feel it. And what's cool is this thing actually snaps up. You go back to there. That's not bad. So that railing. Let's uh, let's put all the pieces together first. Here's a big old scope on it. Okay. So I guess it goes like that. All right. Yeah, this thing looks hella goofy. <laughs> He got this giant uh, barrel thing, which looks like a torch. <laughs> just actually just twisting. Jeez, my lines rolled. They're pretty uh, on point with how stuff goes together. <laughs> and then you got the stock, which I believe just goes in. Like that, and then to take out the sock, I think you just press this button. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, even for my dull hands, it's not that bad. Yeah, you know, it is goofy looking, don't get me wrong, it's very goofy looking. Um, here's the magazine, it's not, uh, you know, nerf by any means. Um, here's a tripod, I guess, if you really want to get fancy, and that goes into the grip right there. I don't see anybody really using that, because I guess for a display piece. And the jam door is right there, which is pretty nice. Uh, okay, I'm going to take this tripod out, because that's basically nothing. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in these darts, <laughs> but let's see what they can do versus what they won't do. I mean, they're just hard to get out of it. There's a ton of glue on them. Oh my god. But you can already see the big difference from uh, Nerf darts and such. Look at the top of these. There's, I don't know if you can see that. They're kind of, they have like three nubs on the top. Um, very strange. <laughs> very, very strange. Very, very strange. So this thing takes eight, so one, two. We'll do three to begin. Because it's just the bold action. You don't really need an eight round. You need like a six or less. But same thing as a nerf gun. You just put it in and push it down. Alright, uh, I'm guessing you probably have to prime this before you put that in. I guess that's your, what button is that? I guess that's like your reset button. Hmm. Something goes in the side there. See? Unless I'm just seeing stuff. It moves this that side. Okay, let me prime it. Put this in. It's pretty good profile that way. Jesus. Well, that was unexpected. Um, I'm going to take the barrel off just so I can get a good FPS out of my chronograph because I want to see what this actually fires. I'm going to chamber another one. I'm going to get our chronograph here. Put right up to that. Eighty-eight point seven. What? One more. 71.4. So a little bit above elite standards. 
I'm not mad at it. Just unexpected. Um, but yeah, that's the Ryan's World Sniper, I guess? Question mark? <laughs> um, I mean, for what it is, it's cool. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, I'm just very confused. And it does have a little kickback when you fire that, uh, dry fire it. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so, okay, so these little targets, these are little stands for little targets, I guess. Um, which is pretty nice. And the tripod, of course. I probably wouldn't use that for anything. Uh, let me get this out of here. Let me move this case so we can get an actual look at this thing. So it does stand up on that tripod, oddly enough. Which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, for a kid's blaster, it's actually really good. Um, even for a goofy look, it kind of reminds me of like we've seen the Fortnite blasters that I've been dealing with over the past couple of days. It reminds me of a Fortnite blaster. You know, it's just enlarged in certain areas and, um, but this actually fires pretty well. Um, where's, now I want to see if this railing up here is Nerf compatible. I don't think it is, but I'm going to try the scope from the BASR. this guy no don't tell me it is really it's on there pretty good it's not it's on there as well as like the scope that it came with, 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 with. You can even push a little bit forward. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Um, I definitely want to open this up. Um, so that will definitely have to be in my video. I want to see what kind of plunger tube it has. Um, if it has any locks in it. But oddly enough, I really like it. Um, it is a little bit awkward, but it delivers hits. I can't complain. I, I would only complain if it, like, you know, shot out and it went four feet and dropped, but it doesn't. Um, I, I don't know what to say, except I'm surprised. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the, what was this called? I don't know. So, so, I'm going to shock so much, I can't really remember. Um, this is called the Ranger. Uh, build and blast case. It, I think it's the only one that comes in a case. Oh, here. And you can see the others that are available here, I guess. Uh, the Renegade, which is like the Nerf, uh, what was it, the... Uh, Shockwave or whatever. Um, the eradicate, Eradicator, I guess that's like their Strife. Um, you got these two. I think these two come in like a two pack or something and they're just a pull back, straight pullbacks. I think I did see those two at Target, but they were like 20 bucks and I was like, those two for 20 or this thing for 10, <laughs> you know. So I might go back, get those. Um, Cause I remember, Oh, I know who it was. It was American Foam, I believe, that uh, did this blaster along with the others. He said this one was okay, this one was okay, this one was good for what it is, and these were actually the best ones, um, firing-wise. But you can see all the combinations here for this one, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Definitely want to open this up and see what it does, or see what I can do to it, if anything. Um, maybe that'll be Saturday. 
yeah. So look forward to that because I, I plan on doing a few mods Saturday. Um, the Fortnite one uh, will probably be the first one because um, I want to get that done and ready for um, my friend Sassy over on her Twitch channel. And then um, I have, finally, I have the spam kit for the Falcon Fire. I want to install that. That one shouldn't be too long of a project. It looks like it's just, you want you unscrew it, you put it to slap it in and screw it back together and it's done. Um, and then this one, well, we'll see what this one does. Um, but yeah, um, very happy with this. And oddly enough, if you guys didn't know already, Ryan's World, <laughs> this R is actually my name as well. <laughs> my real name is Ryan. <laughs> so... That's kind of like, uh, I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely a cool little blaster, especially for $10, it's a steal. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. Um, oh, that was the other thing. How do you get this out? I'm gonna take a while guessing to get that because there's no thing down here. Let me try it. So let me prime it. Yeah, so you have to press down that, and that pulls out just like that. Yeah, okay. Anywho, uh, I'll leave the link down uh, below for this at Target. I believe it probably is $20 now, <laughs> um, if it's still on sale. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, please like, follow, share, and subscribe if you're not already. I think we're at 350 now, uh, so we're just slowly chugging along, you know. Um, but yeah. Oh, also, right now I'm debating on what kind of next, uh, I guess, big blaster I want to get, like 3D printed, like you know, one of the one of the ones that I don't need a mod basically <laughs> um, for my wall. So I'm debating between um, the Swift. Which is basically just a long shot sniper. You know, it's already pre-made. Don't really need to mess with it. I can put upgrade parts into it later. Um, but that's, I think it costs like 180 bucks. Um, and then the other one was a Woozy, which is, I believe, 250. But that's basically the same as my Lepus, so eh. Um, I was also looking into maybe getting a Zinc. Um, but I already have two MK2s, so it's kind of the same thing. Um, or um, the Luchador from Luke from uh, Darts. Or um, what was the other one? Oh, the I forget which one it's called. I'll, have to, I'll, have to, I'll make another video, put it up here um, of the different ones I'm thinking about, and then let you guys uh, pick which one on them um see which one does the best in the polls and uh we'll go with that um because i do this for you guys i mean i do it for me too but you guys too um but yeah i'm still looking for the jurassic pro so if anybody has a link to that thing um let me know um because i can't find it anywhere yet um but yeah i'll see you guys uh probably saturday Saturday at the latest. Might do a video later today or tomorrow. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, talk to you later. Bye guys.